Cleaning of any of the calamus units is a simple two-step process. Make certain that the power is off and that the hand pieces are sufficiently cooled down. The control unit should always be wiped down with a mild disinfecting solution. Do not use a chlorinated solution. Never submerge any part of your calamus devices. For the flow hand piece, remove the calamus cartridge. The handpiece and cord can be wiped down with a mild, non-chlorinated disinfecting solution. Wipe from the middle of the cord toward the handpiece to minimize stress on the connecting wire. The flow handpiece can be disconnected from the control unit of the calamus dual, but not from the flow unit. For additional infection control, a disposable barrier is recommended for the flow handpiece. The pack hand piece is cleaned in a similar manner. Wipe with a non-chlorinated disinfection solution from the middle of the cord to the end of the hand piece. The tips for the calamus pack hand piece should be autoclaved for 15 minutes at 132 degrees C. Calamus cartridges should never be autoclaved. The flow heat shield and the cartridge nut can both be autoclaved at 132 degrees C for 15 minutes. Calamus units have no user serviceable parts. Lubrication should never be necessary during the life of the unit. Annually, the flow handpiece should be cycled without a cartridge. Press and hold the activation cuff until the indicator moves all the way to the end. Then push the return button and allow the indicator to completely retract. Should the indicator ever not fully retract, push the return button a second time. If the motor stops turning while in use, the cannula may have been placed too firmly in the canal space. If this happens, reduce the pressure applied on the handpiece to allow the motor to begin turning again.